Hello, it's Deborah from The Attic and today I want to show you two ways of making designs to go around paper clips so that you can add them to your project. So your project might be a card, it might be a junk journal page, it might be a pocket in a junk journal, it can be whatever you want it to be. There are two different designs I want to show you. The first is like a sleeve that goes around the paper clip but this is designed in such a way that your the top of your clip can go to the top of your pocket or your page or whatever it is that you want it to go to. I'm just going to move these out of the way so that you don't get distracted with those. Um, and you can see on the reverse that there's nothing to obscure the paper clip. So the sleeve just goes around the front part. It means that you have the loop of the paper clip free at the bottom to dangle things from. So you might want to tie a bow or have a little tassel. You might want to add some beads or charms or whatever you have to the bottom of these little loops. This one gives you lots of flexibility to do that. The second way of making your own designed paper clips is to make a pocket. Again, these are designed in such a way that the tops go absolutely to the top of your page or pocket and on the reverse they're not obscured in any way. These ones um, mean that you can't, there isn't a loop at the bottom to dangle but there are other things that you can do. These are a little bit bigger so you can add words and phrases to these ones. You've got space to tie ribbon or lace or whatever you would like on the bottom of these. You can also tie ribbon or bows or lace on the top. So these ones give you something slightly different that you can use. I'm going to show you how to make one each of these, one of these ones and one of these ones. The words that I've used on both of these are words that I, um, I have for sale in my Etsy shop. So these are the words, uh, they're called uh, in my own words. And these are words I use for my projects quite a lot. I find that there's a good mix of uh, little phrases and sentiments I can use there. Of course, you can use whatever words you like. You might have a rubber stamp that's got some nice sentiments on it and you could stamp those out and cut them out and fit them onto your paper clips. The choice is yours. For my projects, I used two different sizes of paper clips. I just found these on Amazon. This size, the largest size, is three inches long and the smaller size is just under two inches long. Because it's easier for me to show you with a large paper clip, this is the one that I'm going to use today, but obviously these uh, samples that I showed you used two different sizes. Begin with a piece of paper that's cut down with enough of a length that it will leave a loop at the top and a loop at the bottom and then fold it in thirds. So put your paper clip in the middle and fold that over to the edge of your paper clip. If it's too long, which this is, or it's too wide, trim it off. And then take the other piece and fold it over. And if it's too wide, which this one is, just cut it down. Leave yourself enough of a space on this fold to add a little bit of glue. I'm using a tape runner because it will give me an instant tack. Take your paper clip out and then fold the paper over until the glue sticks and then squash it down. So that's the first bit. Check that it fits your paper clip. Now the way that the paper clips work is uh, they go in this way so that the little loop at the back sits like that and that is the front of your paper clip and then it means that when you come to clip this onto a project, let me get a blank piece of paper and show you, you would clip it onto your project like that. So from the back it looks like a very plain paper clip and from the front it will have all of the decoration on it. I'm going to add a little distress oxide to the edge of my paper clip to or my paper clip paper to make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to use vintage photo and I'm going to take one of my little oral swabs with the foam pads on them 
um, I'm going to go around the outside like that to add a sort of a border and take away the plainness of the paper that I've used. And the paper I've used is just, uh, it's actually a recipe card that I get in uh, some uh, in my vegetable box each week and uh, this is uh, it, it, I like the paper it's nice thick paper it's nice and sturdy the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of color around the outside of my phrase I've chosen the phrase that says some days yeah because some days are just yeah especially when we've got a coffee break tutorial on the go which is what this one is the coffee break tutorials are designed to be really quick simple little projects that don't take up too much of your time. The idea of them is that if you've got time for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, you've got time to sit down, give yourself a little bit of space and play with some paper crafts. I'm going to add a line of my tape here, then I'm going to add my words sort of in the middle-ish. And then when I add my paper clip, I get it the right way round. That is basically the clip. Now I found that there's enough space at the bottom here that if you have um, a crop dial or some kind of a gizmo that will allow you to add a little eyelet, you can do that with these. You don't need to take the paper off so you can have it on the clip so you can decide exactly where you want to have your eyelet. And you can punch your hole you can choose your eyelet and you can secure that in place. Now once that's secured it means that the paper clip won't come off the bottom there. It holds it in place because um, the loop won't go through the eyelet obviously. So that's how that bit works. The other thing that you can then do is you can add any of these designs on the bottom. So you could add a thread or a little tassel or, um, or some beads or a charm, whatever you happen to have. On this one here, I added three little dots. I hope you can see those. These are Nouveau crystal drops and I added three little dots to the bottom of that one. And I think on this one, because I don't have very much room, I'm not going to do anything else to it. The thing I did want to show you though, is if you slide this down a little way, you see how this is a silver paper clip? If you have alcohol markers or alcohol inks, you can change the colour. I happen to have um, a Copic Sketch alcohol marker, and that means that I can go to the top of my paper clip, and if I just draw on the on the loop, I can change the colour. Make sure you go on the inside of the hoop and the outside, and then the other side as well. And what that means is that you can change the colour of the paper clip to suit your project. When that's dry, I'm going to do it quickly now to show you, but when that's dry, and it only takes a couple of minutes, slide it up your little uh, sleeve and do the same with the bottom. What I particularly like, I hope you can hear it, it's a squeaky. Love a bit of squeaky. That's a bonus. Go around the outside, go around the inside, and the back. Make it squeak. Any of your alcohol markers will colour your paper clip. And it means that you don't have to go with just silver, you can have whatever colour you desire. For our second paper clip, I'm working with one of the large ones again, and I'm going to show you how I made this clip here. I've got a piece of rather nice paper, and I folded it in half so that it's big enough to take my clip, and then off camera, because I can't get my sewing machine on camera, I'm going to sew this edge and at the bottom and then up the side. I won't sew across the top because I'll leave that open and I will create a pocket into which my paper clip will sit. My pocket is sewn down those edges and if I pop my paper clip inside 
I've got the loop at the top where I can put some lace or a bow and I've got a fixture at the back that will secure it to a page. The beauty of doing these longer pockets is you can make these as large as you like. You could make them wider as well. So if you had a, a particular phrase that you needed a lot of space for you could do that. If you wanted to write a nice message on there you could do that. I believe it's coming up to Mother's Day in the States. So you would have room to uh, make a little uh, note on there, Happy Mother's Day or whatever you wanted to write. And you could tuck that onto, um, onto a card or um, use it in that way. So that's that done. I'm going to add some of the Distress Oxide around the outside edge again, as I did in the earlier one. And I'm also going to add one of the little phrases. So I'll colour that up in the same way. This is my pocket, all inked up. And I hope you can see on camera that I've coloured the top of the loop of my paperclip. I kept all that delicious squeaky to myself. I want to show you how you can embellish this with some simple thread, just some cotton. This is just something I happen to have, much like the paper. The paper is just something that I happen to have. I've no idea what pad it came from. But if you keep um, little scraps, there's always, always, always a way to use them. So I've uh, taken some twine around the outside, uh, around the bottom of my tag. Just done it very loosely. And I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to attempt a little bow. There's my little bow and because I want my bow to angle up the way rather than, well, sort of floppy down the way that it is at the moment, I'm going to add a tiny little spot of glue and then press the knot into the glue. I'll just hold it for a moment and then it should catch. And that means that my bow will be a little bit more visible. You can see how using a larger pocket gives you scope to do all kinds of different things. So here I used fabric. Um, I did exactly the same as I did with my card and I sewed all the way down this side and the bottom and then up the other side. And the fabric one is rather nice. You can add lace to it. I had some lace that had some little jewels in it for some reason. Uh, and so I added that to the top and then I added my words over all of that. I'll take you back to the paperclip sleeves. This is the one that we made. And because you have that eyelet there, on these you can add a little tassel to dangle down through the eyelet and then just fold over that loop at the bottom. Or you can use it to put a bow through. I haven't added charms to these, but of course you can do that. You can, you can dangle anything that you want from there. The other thing that you can do if you're using words is you can have a series of words. So you don't have to, if your paperclip is small, you don't have to try and get all of the words on one paperclip. Use more, use three. So I use three, so I could say in my own words. And with these sleeves, there's a little tiny brad at the top. I found these in my stash somewhere. And I just poked a little hole and then put the uh, little arms of the brad through the back to secure it. And you could put those all onto uh, one tag, for example. This one is a little different again. On this one, I've added some beads. I've threaded these beads up and then I've just glued them at the bottom to hold them in place because I didn't want them swinging around. But you might want swinging beads. Depends what you like on your project. So there we are, that's today's project. Two different types of paper clips in sleeves and in pockets. I hope you found that useful. I hope you might give these a go and until we meet again, take care.